Hey everybody, welcome to the Miami Boat Show. We are live, Speedboat Magazine. They're here filming content. Uh oh. Hey guys, welcome. We are at the Miami Boat Show. Hey guys, welcome. We are at the Miami Boat Show. Powerboat section. Hey, hey, what's up? We're going to take a quick tour of the powerboat section. What's up guys? Welcome aboard. We are at Cigarette at the Miami Boat Show. Little classic dude, 24. You got it, Jimmy. You got it. We're just gonna do a quick one around the powerboat section. We've got Nortec, Cigarette, Midnight Express, MTI. And we've got a cigarette cat. There it is, man. What's up, guys? Welcome aboard. Yeah, man. There it is. Cigarette has gone all out for this show, man. Here's that massive 515 they've been running around everywhere. You see it in all the videos. All right, this, this girl's taking a picture. So now we can go look. Now we can go walk over here. <laughs> Cigarette Nighthawk, the new one? You got it, Sonny. Let's take a look inside the 515 real quick. How are you? Hey, how are you, man? If you're watching our live stream from Fort Lauderdale, I, no, this, this is not the one that did the startup. There's some people on the Nighthawk right there. So let's let them clear out before we walk over. If you're just joining us, we are at the Miami Boat Show. We are in the powerboat section. Quinn 450Rs. All right, let's go up on the Nighthawk real quick. We're gonna go take a look at the Nighthawk. Cheers, man. Thank you. This Nighthawk is slick. It's the same. It's the same length as the uh, 42, the MTI 42 but it 
is it feels a lot smaller. Lighting everywhere. What's up guys? Even got a little berth down there. I want to take a nap. Oh, you know, while we're up here, let's get a good look at the Nortex. Three ninety right there, and then big old four fifty. Big boat right there, but it still looks pretty good. Actually, that's funny. It's right next to the Midnight Express 43 Solstice. I don't know if that's an accurate comparison because I, on the height of the the boat, that actually might be. I wonder how. No, I think the Nortex sitting a little bit lower. 37 open, right there. All right, let's go look at MTI. Yeah. Yeah. Where are we going? We're going to Midnight Express and we're gonna to go to MTI. Let's go to MTI. We start out at MTI. Oh. Stu Jones right there, Florida Powerboat Club. Jackie Jones right there, Florida Powerboat Club. Oh, hey, you, on now? you are on YouTube, man. Right. Well, you, you got an event coming up this next weekend, right? Next weekend we're gonna be uh, up and uh, or actually down in Florida Keys going to Key Largo again, 27th annual yeah. Miami Boat Show Poker Run. Yeah. So we uh, we kind of dovetailed off this show 27 years ago, giving everyone a chance to see the boats go from the convention center to the water yeah. and then run them on the poker run. So we yeah. called it the Manufacturer's Rally uh, back you know that many years ago. Right, yeah. And then the name just finally became the Miami Boat Show Poker Run. So right. and that's then, what it's been. And, and, that's what and then what, last year was when it actually became the Miami Boat Show Poker run. <laughs> because there was no we, show we except for it, you guys. You were the only show yeah, in town. We uh, we called it the uh, we called it we kept the name as the Miami Boat Show Poker Run, featuring the Key Largo Poker Run Village. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So we went to Gilbert's and had a casual, um, you know, format where you could come by and check the boats out, and go for a seat trial. Right. And uh, it, I think I think everyone That's appreciates cool. that. I, everyone always told me that the buyers would come to the Miami Boat Show to look at the boats. And they would compare all the different stats, and they talk to all the sellers. And they, they couldn't, if they couldn't make their decision, they would go on the Miami Boat Show Poker Run, and they would ride on the boats, and then yeah. have a couple of drinks and talk numbers, and then that's where the deals the, were getting the, done. Done. So I was proud to hear that because I, at least I know that there's some some commerce is being done on our events, and I think that yeah. that has been kind of a common thread for all of our poker runs. Because look at. You know, if, if you can't go and have fun with your boat, why would you buy it in the first right. place? Right. Yeah, yeah. So that's the idea. Cool. The uh, so you guys are camping out at Key Largo next weekend. Yeah. You got yeah, to gonna be exhibits camping. and show. So if you're in if you're in South Florida, it's head an easy down, drive from Miami. Down. Oh, easy. Hour and a half. Yeah, at the most. If yeah, you're yeah. in Miami, all you got to do is get to Key Largo. Now we have about four different venues for lodging. Oh and right, docking, yeah. But there's really just the one venue, which is Gilbert's. Which is the first place that you're going to get to when you arrive in the Florida Keys, anyway. You're going to, uh, you know, you're going to go down the 18 mile stretch. Yep. The very first causeway. Boom! There you're there at mile marker 108. I love so it. You can get to Gilberts, and uh, obviously it's got a huge tiki bar and lots of uh, staff there. So uh, all the rooms are sold out because we have all of our oh, yeah. powerboat club there. Uh, but we're going to have at least 10 manufacturers on display there. Oh yeah, have that's going to be great. 75 boats on the run, but about 30 well, of the wow. boats. Wow, 75? 75 are registered for the run, but about about 25 to 30 boats 
are going to be featured boats either at the Gilberts, at, at the Poker Run yeah. Village, either in the slips or on the front dock. And there's going to be some of the other manufacturers and dealers are going to be keeping them at other marinas nearby. Okay. But that's where all the activity is going to be yeah, starting Gilberts. on Thursday through Saturday. It's going to all wrap up on Saturday afternoon and uh, we're not doing anything on Sunday. We're going to pack our bags okay. and roll on cool, out, cool. depending on how the weather is. All right. Well, I wish you a good event. It's good seeing you again. Thank you, Chad. We're going to go you. Yeah, we're gonna go to MTI and go check All them right. out. All right. Zip, zap, See you, Jackie. Zip, bye-bye. Zip, 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 zip. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the, uh, we're, okay, so we're back where we started at the MTIs, but I, I jammed over to Cigarette real quick. So now we're back at MTI. So let's take a look at the interior of this 390X. Guys, the, the fit and finish on these MTIs is like no other. Thank you. Takva, thank you very much. Yeah, check that out, man. Holy freaking cow. I want the 340X, because it's a little bit smaller. That's the one I want. Mike Howe is selling his 390X, carbon edition. I wonder if I can talk him into giving me a sweet deal for it. More Quinn 450Rs. I do not. I rent or I ride with friends. And this is a 42, MTI V42, and I've been on one of these for the Catalina Fun Run. We went from Newport Beach to Catalina Island. My, maybe one of the best boating experiences that I've had next to riding with Dave Stone on Lake of the Ozarks and his uh, DCB, F32. So MTI has some boats on display at the in-water displays. And I believe they're doing demo rides. So if you're in the market, they've got them. But I don't want to. I don't want to talk out of school. But we are. I am. I've got a friend who is trying to get me to go in on him with a skater. So that may be happening. I don't know. All right. Is there another? Are we done over there? Yeah, okay, so let's go over to Midnight Express. Thirty seven open on the Midnight Express. <laughs> Forty three solstice. This is a sick ride, man. Look at that paintwork. And that express is crowded. They always get a crowd so we're gonna wait a second let we're gonna let the 43 solstice clear out a little bit and then we'll go up on the 43 solstice all right we're gonna make our move we're going up on the solstice Let's go up on the solstice. Hello, hello. 
Hi, we are live on YouTube. Hi. That's our good friend from Midnight Express. Massive, man. This thing is sick. Uh, of all the yachts I recorded, what was your favorite? Uh, it's got to be anything... Anything Riva. Anything Riva. Yes, Ben, you got to get a better job or you got to start a business, brother. If you want one of these babies. Yeah, Riva, any, anything Riva. Anything Riva is my favorite. And then next is Pershing. And then after that is Sunseeker. If you're talking in the yacht world. If you're talking powerboats, it's probably going to be... MTI 3, 340X, Midnight Express 43. Yes, I do, but not really. Have an interest in sailing yachts. That name is still there. It's, it's still stuck around, yeah. <laughs> he's, um, but he's way down south. He's down. Uh... Let's go look at the 37. It's amazing the difference that six feet makes. The 37 feels so small compared to the 43. I, I will. I'm going to probably do a live stream with the fishing boats, center consoles at some point. Uh, right now we're just doing power boats because we've got to get it over to the in-water display to meet a client. A little overview. How are you? Good, how are you? LEDs everywhere. Oh, dang it, I forgot to go peek inside the 43. The, I forgot to go peek inside there. The Tirana and the Pita Mare, yeah. They, I don't know if they, well, they're not here. They don't have one here, but that the in-water show, they may have one over there of each of those. Uh, Midnight Express ha may have a 60. They may actually have their, their new boat. They may have the new, the, the new 60 over there. Oh, wait, we're going to, let's look inside here. That's five Straight off, but yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Great thing about it, no All right, so let's we're gonna walk over to Nortec now and take a look at the 450. Grab my shoes, my bag, and like I said, guys, we're gonna probably do a live stream with some of the fishing boats with Invincible and Everglades and some of the other manufacturers. We're just gonna pop into all these power boats real quick before we have to run over to the in-water display. I'm putting my shoes back on. Ooh. Oh, you know what we can ask? 
we can add, oh wait, no, she's with the client, never mind. I was gonna ask Lindsay if they have the 60 on display. All right, we were walking over to Nortec. We'll finish up over at Nortec. Get in. We're just gonna sneak right in here. Either pursuit. Here we go. Okay, the 450 is packed. The 390. Nortex builds a good looking boat, man. They build a good looking boat. The, the 450 is a good shape. It looks good in the water. It doesn't look too too big no uh, no outer limits here they if I remember correctly they may have a boat at the in water display and if they do we will absolutely take a look at it Hello, everyone. Welcome. yeah for like everybody's just hanging out about the 450R Bob Teague right there. By the big screen, but we also have a huge announcement. Yes, Fountain does have boats on display. They've got their center consoles here. Yes, they do have them. And they're they're actually not too far away. So maybe we will walk over to maybe we will we'll walk over to Fountain. We're gonna I don't know if they've got clients. I think there's clients on that boat, so we're not gonna get up there. And the 450's clogged with it. So let's go look at the fountains real quick, just to knock those out. Uh-oh. Hold on. Here's a bottle of it. We are taking pre-orders today for $2,500. And it is made with the highest technology. It actually has safety features unlike any other personal watercraft. The E-Jet, as you can see here, has a display that connects to your cell phone with safety features so that if you're in an accident on the water, it is connected to Life Wallet, which provides you help with emergency assistance. As you can see, it has storage capabilities in the front and back. It is a first edition carbon fiber, and it is completely customizable. Every color imaginable, any style that you would like. And it is brought to you by NextGen. As you can see, anything from lime yellow to the traditional black and white. So everyone, you're privileged today because this is the launch of the E-Jet today to give you a sneak peek of what the leadership team has been hard at work producing for you. And here is an example of the rear active light brake as well as the double storage in the back. As you can see, it's stylish, safe, and brings you the highest technology, of course, the craftsmanship that is known for because Cigarette is, of course, the legendary, iconic brand. All of the innovation, technology that goes into our boats is also going into the E-Gen. So we welcome you to come take a look at our, an example here of what you will be um, making a purchase on. And so again, we welcome you to come to this table or at the front for the pre-orders, $2,500, and our sales team can help you with that as well. Wow. All right, let's go take a look at this thing. No, go ahead. No. You made it a way of life. They say what they're going to sell They did not. <laughs> it's more than $2,500. I'm sure. This was a boat that everybody. Yeah, cigarette PWC. That's pretty in interesting. The uh, so back to Nortec. Yeah, Nortec builds a good-looking boat. Uh, and let's. Should we try Fountain? Should we walk to Fountain? He's a very popular person. Yeah, let's walk to Fountain because we hit Nortec. We hit that. Fountain is over here. 
Right. And then, uh, like I said, we'll probably hit every. Wow, Midnight Express. Oh wait, we're gonna let's go ask. Hey, we're live on YouTube. Do Do you have anything? Do you have anything at the in water display? Yes, we have our U52. Oh, the 52 is there. Okay. Yes. All right. Yes, 52. They were asking about the 60. No, the 60's not 60 there. 60's not there, okay. All right, cool. But the new 52, and then we do have the 43 Solstice, a 43 open, a 37 open. It's a big display. Oh, wow. oh really? Yes. Oh, wow. Are you, are you guys doing rides? We are. We're at CI as well. Okay. See y'all in Sweet. Awesome. Okay, cool. Thank you. Yeah, bye. Right, bye. <laughs> oh, wait. Let me uh, let me show you the 52. There it is. It's like a baby, uh, it's like a baby beast. A baby 60. With, I don't know if you can see those lines. Choo -choo -choo. So that means the sides fold down. Harold Plaza. Yes, there's MTI. We walked through MTI earlier in the live stream. So you can back up the live stream and, and, uh, and see that. And we're going to walk over to Fountain and just go see what's going on at Fountain. I don't know. We're supposed to be somewhere at 2 o'clock, and I don't know what time it is. The show is very nice. If you're thinking about coming, the convention center is nice and cool. It's in the shade. It's got brand new carpet everywhere. It is very fancy. It is nice. I don't know where Fountain... I don't know where Fountain is. Where the hell? It was over here somewhere. Crap. Oh, you know what? Let's go to Axel Par. I don't know where Fountain went. Sorry. We'll do... Well, if I'll find Fountain on the next live stream. We'll go over to Fountain. But here's Axel Par. These things are cool. We'll just do a quick little thing, and then uh, we got a jam. Quick little look at the Axel Pars. We might come back and do a detailed look at them. Tidewater is probably here. Yeah. Oh, it's 125. Thank you for that. That means we gotta go. I gotta go. We gotta get the car, go across the water, and find parking, which is gonna be fun. So, guys, thanks for tuning in for this. We're gonna be, I'm gonna be doing uh, live streams again. Might try and do some live stream ride alongs. You know how fun those are. Some of you guys like them, some of you don't, but that's okay because it's fun. And I'm gonna say goodbye. We're gonna just, I'll sign off over at Invincible. But if you're thinking about coming, the show's nice. It's very nice. Everything smells, it smells like uh, fiberglass in here. So there's Invincible. Boom, boom, boom. All right, guys, thanks for being here. Appreciate it, and we'll see you on the next one.